Hi, uh, welcome to Women Matters. In February 15th, we have had Valentine's, Valentine's Day, and you see it with Monia. She has got wonderful flowers. My flowers are in the garden, and these are the real ones. And behind this is a beautiful <laughs> uh, a screen, uh, artificial screen. So today we will have Beatrice Anthony the, uh, for leading us in something we are very curious. And I give over to you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, I'm really curious too. <laughs> um, I, I have a couple of ideas that I want to try and, and we'll see where things go and then we can talk about it at the end. But before we start, um, let's do our usual, usual check-in. Introduce yourself where you are and just how you're feeling today, what, what's happened recently, anything you want to share with the group. Um, and if there's something, since it was Valentine's Day, um, something that you've recently, uh, I'm gonna say fall, fallen in love with, but I don't mean necessarily falling in love with another person, but maybe something beautiful that you've seen recently or a part of yourself that you've discovered recently or um, something in your life that has sparked, sparked that feeling of love uh, in the last, last two weeks. So, um, I'm Beatrice, I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Um, and I, <laughs> I asked this question, I didn't have an answer myself. Um, no, I, uh, I just really fall in love with the snow whenever it snows um, here and it always brings me, me joy and it's so lovely to go outside and see it and for it when it lasts for a long time. So that is my, a thing that I love right now in my space and um, I'm going to pass it on. Um, you can you can share longer than that. That's just my short share for now. Oh, I'll pass it to um, Gertrud. Yeah, hi. I'm from north of Frankfurt, Germany, and I'm just looking at the brown shoulders of <laughs> Hanneli from South Africa uh, here having freezing like uh, minus 30. No, no, today it, it's raining and, uh, and icing. So um, yeah, it's kind of, oh my God, <laughs> we really come from all over the world. And um, I'm, I'm doing an online course and, and now I'm in the third from a trilogy at the third, uh, yeah, recording the third part. And this is really exciting. And yesterday at, um, um, I, I don't know if you know the power of eight, the intention workshops uh, work from uh, by Lynn McTaggart. And I applied for some person to get healing from all over the world and uh, for a very special person. And yesterday we did that at, at uh, seven o'clock. And it really felt connected, connected around the globe. And I talked to him yesterday, uh, today. And he said it was a special feeling for him to have just the imagination to have thousands of people contributing to him, even if they didn't know him for 10 minutes, really having the intention that he might, that he is healed already. Um, yeah, he was really touched by that. And uh, my happiest dream is that in the, his next exam, there are no <laughs> cancer cells, nothing. They say, oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's touched me recently. And I hand over to South Africa <laughs> to, to this <laughs> beach beauty. <laughs> Thank you, Gertrude. Um, I'm Hanneline. I'm in Johannesburg at the moment. And um, yes, I was in the sun. I was sitting under the trees working today to be outside after 
many, many Zoom sessions on Saturday as part of a global love wave. And yeah, it was wonderful to be in nature. And for me, the last two weeks have been on many levels, very sacred and very beautiful. And I've just been reminded over and over again, the power of love and when strangers come together, what is possible, the beauty in it. And I'm also very excited about leadership and self-leadership awareness journal that we're publishing the end of the month. From the love wave, I'm going into that space to compile it and put it together. Some beautiful people from across the globe have been contributing to that. And I'm just be very grateful to be here with you and to share this experience, Beatrice. So I'm curious and also looking forward to it. And I'm passing to Monia. Uh, hello, I'm Monia. I am speaking to you from Vienna, Austria, Central of Europe. It's freezing cold, but we still had lots of really blazing sunshine today. And I'm terribly exhausted and I don't know why. It's just maybe it's everything is just dredging along such a long time. And we just have been told in the news that there will be, won't be any restaurants and, and any uh, culture and any fitness centers, nothing for uh, until Easter. Yeah. My husband said, well, luckily we have a balcony, so he walked out and yeah, and this is what really my experience of love is that uh, we have a big birdhouse out on the balcony and we give them regularly the ordinary food and of course walnuts. <laughs> and the minute we go out and put the walnuts there, there is cheap, cheap. And then they just come fall in and we have so many different kinds of birds uh, and the way they fly so differently and how they maneuver is it's just a thrill and uh, yeah and we serve them breakfast, lunch, <laughs> and supper and uh, they obviously expect it because they if we are not out they just sit there and they it's really funny yeah so we love birds well <laughs> and it has been very nice uh, the children dropping by for valentine's day and giving calories to me chocolates <laughs> and flowers but still i'm not on my best and my top feeling i'm just really somehow exhausted I pass on to Christine. Uh, good morning from Carlsbad, California, on the coast of Southern California. Um, glad to be here with you today. Uh, noticing Monia's flowers, they're lovely. Um, I don't know what kind of flowers they are, maybe tulips. They are filled tulips, so it's not just a tulip. Oh, they are, they are so I don't know what. It's a new mutation. My, my son-in-law is very experienced with flowers, so he always gets the newest and best. And yeah, oh, nice. they're lovely. Um, I got flowers for Valentine's Day, which is kind of traditional, and and enjoying those, loving having those uh, sitting on my kitchen counter, and just enjoying loving the. Uh, early signs of spring, you know, just trying to notice that some uh, jasmine blooming and that's uh, giving a wonderful fragrance outdoors when I walk out the door and things that are going to fruit later in the year are starting to come alive and um, just enjoying that, that uh, cycle of this year. And I pass on to Victoria. Thank you, fellow Southern Californian. <laughs> um, I'm in La Mesa, just um, just a, what, half an hour away or 45 minutes away from Christine, although we haven't met in the flesh yet. Um, I look forward to that time whenever it happens. Um, it's, it's cold and it was sunny, but now it's sort of murky, foggy, I guess. 
Um, I'm in love with Beatrice. So I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this um, experience, whatever it is. So I'm very excited about that. And I will pass to Martini. On the left, on the bottom, you have to switch off. No, no, and on the left, on the bottom, on the bottom of the window, you see. Yes. Okay. I am from Austria, Kritzendorf. I don't know, but Monia always says Vienna is in the center of uh, Europe. Oh, but this is so idle. Uh, uh, well, I, I don't feel like that, but it is okay. Uh, it is very beautiful weather in uh, Austria, and we walked for one and a half hour uh, on the Donau, uh, beside the Donau. And it was very, very nice. And I'm very pleased. I got several um, information for my exhibition and I'm very pleased with that. Thank you. Heidi, I give to you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. I have two snoring dogs here on the floor. <laughs> And also the cats, they are really exciting me. Uh, I mean, because they are so funny sometimes, you know. And as for Valentine's Day, that was the day when I first, Mark and I did our first commitment to live together. And every Valentine's Day, we renewed it. And now it's already the third that we can't do it anymore. So that's a little sad, so, but. That's what life is. But I have this, as I said before, you know, and this is really, it's opening my heart. Do you see also this one is a double one? Yeah. Normally they are also only one, uh, one leaf, no one. And this, some of them are double. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's all, it's, it, it's was cold tonight. It was freezing on the, on the water of the docks. There was half a centimeter ice. But during the day outside was beautiful, really beautiful. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I mean, maybe the main reason, I think. Yeah, and I give over who is left, who is left, who is left. I think everyone, I think everyone yeah, has, I give to you. has okay. shared mm -hmm. um, a lot of, a lot of love and appreciation for nature uh, is the theme today, I think. Um, and I think that's beautiful. And um, yeah, I want to to invite us to to connect with our physical beings today. Um, and you know, we are part of nature, and we are beautiful parts of nature too. So um, we'll take that theme and apply it to our our physical, tangible bodies. Um, so uh, just to start, um, I invite you all to to just close your eyes, um, plant your feet on the ground. Um, and, and sit comfortably, but, but up straight. Um, and we're gonna just scan our body to see how we're feeling. No judgment, no expectation, uh, nothing but just starting at the top of the head, scanning at the head. How is your head feeling physically? What about your shoulders? Um, and we're just gonna scan down the chest and the torso check in with our arms, with our hands, um, the bottom of our torso, our hips, is sitting on the chair or whatever surface you're sitting on, and your thighs and your knees and your shins and your feet and your toes. And so just, just running from head to toe a couple of times, top of the head down to the ground and how is your body feeling today? What are you feeling? What sensations are bubbling to the surface, physical or emotional? Um, how are you doing today as a embodied being in this beautiful world? And it's okay if, if, if it's feeling sluggish or sad, it's okay if it's feeling joyful or excited and everything is welcome. 
So one more scan from the head down, checking in with every little section of the body. And then open your eyes. And if, if each one person just wants to share one, one word that describes um, what's com what comes up with your body, what, what did you feel? Um, just one word. Um, my word is a little bit of tingly. Um, we can pass, I guess I can call it, yeah, Hanalee looks like you're ready to. <laughs> Mine is also tingling. <laughs> tingling or waking up. Um, we don't have to all share, just anyone who wants to can unmute and say the one word. Mine is tingly too. <laughs> Relaxed. Mm. Connected. Mm. Comfortable. Mm. Martini, I have uh, muted you again. If you want to speak, you have to unmute. Alive. Mm. Alive. Yes. So, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, so we've checked in with our bodies. I want to also, before we get up, I just want to take a moment to also check in with our space. Um, so just look around um, and we're going to activate our, our five senses. So first I invite you to find just five, five things um, visually in your space that catch your attention. It could be a color, a texture, a shape, a special item that you have on your desk. And, and when you find it, just um, spend a, a second or two just um, admiring it and observing it and looking at how beautiful it is visually. And when you're, you've had your moment to stay with that item, then you can move to the next one. I'm looking at my beautiful um, eyeglasses case and find another object or another thing that that's sparking your interest visually right now. Spend the moment with it. We'll find one more. What's its color? What's what is it? What's the texture? What does it look like? Is it triangular or square or circular? Is it divided? And then we're going to shift to thinking of textures, we're gonna to shift to touch. So now you can be the same object or a different object, but, but find four things you can touch. Um, and when you touch them, just notice, notice the texture. Um, it can be your own arm or something on your desk or your warm cup of coffee. <laughs> something on the wall. So just find, find four things that you can touch and observe with your sense of touch. Is it smooth or rough? Jagged or curved? Cold or warm? And then we're going to shift to our sense of hearing. So first you can maybe sit quietly and see what, what sounds do you hear in your space, but you can also play with, um, we're all muted or most of us are, <laughs> um, you can play with making a noise, um, finding something in your space that makes a noise, your feet or um, an object that you drop on the floor or <laughs> clap together. Just what are some sounds you can hear in your space that are occurring naturally or artificially? Is it the birds outside or like Monya, do you have a gong? <laughs> Something else you can make sound with. Or is it just the silence? Oh, Monia, you can ring your gong for us. I saw you wanted to, <laughs> if you want. Let's listen to Monia's gong.
Thank you, Manya. Beautiful. And then what's the, the next sense is smell. Now this one sometimes is unpleasant, but a lot of you have flowers. Um, find something you can smell and maybe it doesn't have a smell. Maybe, you know, my, my glasses case doesn't smell like anything, but um, find the things that smell or that don't smell. Activating that nose, that sense of smell. Engaging. Find another thing. Is there another thing that smells differently? What do you smell like? <laughs> we got candles and flowers. Beautiful. And our last sense is going to be taste. And for this one, if you have something you can taste, feel free to taste it. If you don't have something you can taste right now, try to remember in your, in your mouth, in your taste buds, remember the last, the last thing you tasted or something wonderful that you tasted recently, uh, um, something sweet or something savory or lovely. And if you have something to taste, like even water, So welcome to your space. <laughs> welcome to your senses. I think we, we so often forget our tangible beings and what we connect with tangibly and physically, especially when we're on Zoom and sitting staring at the screen. So now I'm going to take that a step further and really activate our bodies, um, that sensory memory. So if you can, um, get up from your chair. Um, and just stand up um, and let me know if at any point you can't hear me. Um, and we're just gonna stand still for a minute, feel our feet grounded on the ground, um, rooted into the earth. What's below your feet is the, the, maybe a carpet, the floor, the foundation of the building you're in, or maybe there's a floor below. Um, if there's a floor below, maybe there's people below you. And beyond that, down into the foundation of the building and into the earth underneath. And then below the earth, you're going all the way down and all the way to the core of the earth on this beautiful planet where we're connected to the core of the earth. So find that your legs are grounded like tree trunks into the earth through whatever you're standing on. And then you can raise your arms up as high as you can and really feel the opposition. Think about what's above you. Um, you have the ceiling, maybe there's a lamp or uh, things on the ceiling. Um, maybe there's floors above you and people above you. And beyond that, there's the roof of the building. And beyond that, the sky and the clouds and Maybe it's snowing or raining or sunshine, but the, the atmosphere and environment. And beyond that, we go beyond the atmosphere of the earth and the planets and the stars. So feeling now the opposition of the planets up in outer space and the core of the earth on the planet that we're standing on. Really stretch it. And then just let gravity do its thing and you let go. And then we're just gonna do the gravity thing again. So we're gonna lift up the arms and let go. If you wanna bend your knees a little bit with that again, we'll do it again. Just let go and let it bounce and oh, bounce. So that's the longevity that we have, the length. Um, and then let's remember our head. So let's roll our neck oh, in one direction, really feel every little muscle stretching itself out and you can reverse the direction. Really roll all those little creaks. And then the shoulders to get those going, go them go in opposite directions or at the same time, they can go forward, they can go back, they can go up and down. Try to find as many different directions you can go with your shoulders. 
And then if your arms are coming in to play, let them come and play. And you can extend and condense and reach and bring them together to you and reach out. Maybe you find something in your space again that you reach towards, a beautiful thing, something that you earlier touched or you earlier looked at, you can reach. And then you can also come in internally and what can you touch with your hands? So we're gonna touch our arms, squeeze them, squeeze the muscles, squeeze the muscles of the neck and the arms and the shoulders. And then anywhere else you want to squeeze your torso, your legs, and see if you can squeeze, squeeze a little bit, give yourself a little, little squeeze massage. And then we'll shift to patting. And we'll just pat your arms and the top of your head. That one always feels really fun. The back of your head. We don't activate that part of ourselves very often. Our backspace, the neck. Chest. Listen to that sound. Remember our listening to what the sounds are in our space. Now we're making some sounds with our body. You can tap your legs, shins. Reach down if you want or stay upright. And then we're going to brush. We're going to brush off any, any energy that we don't want. We're going to brush it off and brush our energy out into the world. Brush your arms, your chest, your sides, your legs. You can even brush your head <laughs> if you want, your neck. All right, we're all brushed. And then we'll just do a little wiggle, shake everything out. And if you wanna wiggle your legs, wiggle your arms, bounce, <laughs> just, waking up the whole body. Okay, so we've waken, woken up our body and now I'm gonna remind us of our screens. And we were all here together with our, our friends, our new friends, our new family. Um, and we're more aware of our bodies now, but I wanna also invite us to be aware of each other's bodies and also the screen. And so first thing we're gonna do is um, we're going to play with the dimensions. If you can see your own box, play with the dimensions of your visible box. So I have my, try to draw a line around your box and see if you can get really far away. What's it like when you get really, really close? How is that different? You can define your box in the small space or in the big space. And every once in a while, they would see what somebody else is doing. What are they doing? Are they far away? If they're far away, maybe you go far away or maybe you go close in opposition. If they're really close, maybe you come close or you go far away. And I'm gonna now, yes, exactly. <laughs> so find somebody, somebody to respond to, start a dialogue, a physical dialogue, and maybe you mirror the person, find a person to mirror and follow. Or maybe you do something in opposition. If someone's going up, maybe you go down. Or maybe you go side, far and close. You're gonna connect and keep shifting who you're looking at. Who are you mirroring or who are you following? Whose motions inspire you? And start to get really creative and free. You can you can move in any way you want now. You've opened up your body, your body is awake. You can be really small with your fingers or do small gestures, or you can be really big and expansive and move your whole body. Keep finding someone to respond to. <laughs> so much joy in this space. Ooh, we've got some wiggles going on and some twists. And we'll just do this quietly now for a little bit. I'm gonna stop talking. We can keep communicating with gesture.
And we're creating our own music here, physically. I was gonna play some music, but I don't think I need it. <laughs> We've got our own rhythm. And it's okay if you wanna move small, maybe we start making it a little bit smaller. We're still communicating with each other and watching each other. But now we're gonna do it on the small scale, maybe just the hands or the face or little, little rotational movements, swaying. What kind of sounds do your, does your body make as you're dancing with everyone? And then find a person, find one person to follow or to kind of respond to. You don't have to do exactly the same thing that they're doing, but. And really just watch that person with love. They are sharing a beautiful part of themselves with you and maybe they're picking up from somebody else and you're picking up from them. And we're all kind of connected through these threads. How many different ways can you do whatever it is that you're doing? Can you take it in a different direction or a different level or change the speed or the rhythm of it? Slow it down, speed it up, make it really big, make it really tiny. What's the tiniest thing you can do while keeping the same idea? And what's the biggest thing you can do with the same idea? We'll go back to the tiny. And then listen to your breathing as you keep moving. How has it changed? How can the breath be invited into this party? If your body is your breath, let it expand and contract as you breathe in and out. Then we're gonna move a little bit more small and quietly coming back to stillness, coming back to that grounded feeling, find, find your feet on the floor and those tree trunk roots connecting all the way down through the building's foundation, through the earth, through the ground. And then from that, we won't reach up our arms this time, but 
as you're grounded, think of all the rest of you as reaching up towards, towards the universe, towards those stars in the sky. And from this place of groundedness and strength, we look to our Zoom window and to look to all of us and we think about how we are, are radiating our energy and our groundedness and our strength to all of each other. And you can touch your heart if you want, if you wanna receive it or put your arms out if you wanna give it and you can go back and forth of giving and receiving of the love and the energy and this beautiful playful motion. Or you can do both at the same time, yeah. And then we'll come back to our, our chairs. And once everyone's comfortable again, we're gonna do another scan of the body. So we'll close our eyes again once you're, once you're ready and comfortable. And scan from the head to your feet again, but this time, you know, what, what are you noticing that's different? How is your head feeling differently? How's your neck feeling differently? Is there a part of your body that you didn't really notice before, but now is very much alive and, and speaking to you? How are your shoulders, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your legs, knees, thighs? toes. You can wiggle your, your fingers and your toes to remember where they are. And what's coming up for you? How do you, how do you feel in this moment now after doing that? We can open our eyes and let's share um, a word that encapsulates how you feel right now. Um, Refreshed. I, go refreshed. ahead. Refreshed. No, I My feel friend. tingly. <laughs> tingly <now. laughs> Thank you. Warmer. Oh, Marty, you're muted. Christine, what'd you say? Warmer. Mm. Activated. Warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. Activated. Very open. Open. <clears throat> Sparkling. Mm. Loose. I felt lonely when we finished and sat down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'm going to invite us to 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 connect um, now from the seated position, which is. Um, We've shared our verbal verbal words, but let's, um, if you wanna share a gesture, we'll just go one at a time in the same way that we share, but we're not gonna use any sound. Um, you can share a gesture and when you're done or a movement, and when you're done, go back to stillness and we'll just pass that around. You can, and you can share more than once, but how you are feeling after this experience, how do you feel about the people in this room? How do you feel today? Um, and I'm gonna mute myself and we'll all do this in silence and we'll share for a little bit um, about how we're feeling physically.
Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to open up. This was kind of an experiment um, inspired by some some things that I've attended and some people that I know in my life, but also. Um, but I just want to open up. We can just talk about what what this was like. If there's anything that's coming up or anything that maybe you know emotionally came up while you were doing it that you want to share or talk about. Um, so I'll just open up the floor to any kind of discussion that feels like it wants to bubble up right now. For me, I feel like we broke, excuse me. Oh, sorry. I feel like we broke the Zoom barrier. Yeah. And I felt the joy at the end, really, joy of playing like children. That was really wonderful. And I loved Christine when you came and showed us your smile. It was so cute. I really loved it. And I loved the explosion of the energy when you had to sneeze. Because <laughs> I opened up the window and that was so the air, the fresh air was all of a sudden much nicer than before. When you, Beatrice, said we should do something that somebody else does and all of a sudden it was kind of, yeah, very similar what we all did. So at different times, a little bit different, but, uh, but so uh, I didn't know who followed, no, me and I followed one person and so I don't know what others did and how they followed me or not, or, and all of a sudden it was kind of interwoven. I, I found it interesting, Beatrice, you do this all the time, you know, express with your body, but um, I don't do that. <laughs> so I found it very playful and interesting to just kind of explore um, what I could do with my body and what it might say and what I'm trying to express physically. And uh, again, it's, it's not something I would normally do. So it was, it was novel for me and uh, fun, fun. And what was very pertinent for me was when we were doing things together, how the energy changed in my environment. I could feel the temperature changes, not because I was moving, my own body temperature changing, but the environment around me was changing, sort of synchronizing and adapting to what, when, when my focus was on all of you, which was really interesting. So it made it a lot more intense, my own experience. Thank you, it's wonderful. Yeah, I feel like the also the act of like noticing where I am helps me to be more present on the screen, which is so interesting because I think we think we're we're all confined, but but really inhabiting the space that you're in, then you can be fully engaged with this virtual space in a way that I think we we forget about that. And and what you were saying, Gertrude, about the the following and the leading, I kind of feel like that's a beautiful metaphor for this group too, that where we've all been sharing our different stories or different insights over the weeks and weeks and weeks and kind of following and leading and the wisdom that gets kind of passed in and out and through that you don't really know anymore where, where it began, but it's, it's come through all these different hearts and souls and mouths. <laughs> Um, to connect with each other. I wanted to add, normally we are sitting, you know, sitting like this, blah, 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 talking. And now in every little window, there were other things. There was this movement that was like a, I don't know what it is, but 
it was like the whole screen was engaged in a dance. And that was really, I, I think I never saw that before because normally people are sitting like this. <laughs> Wait, thank you, Beatrice. Yeah, and I find it really great in this group. So far, many have led a session uh, and now also Beatrice too, and I'm really grateful for that. That is a way of experimenting also, no? Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that I don't have to do all the time all the work, so <laughs> I run out of ideas. <laughs> okay, I'm grateful to every one of you who is taking on a topic and a role. Thank you. Yeah, and I have, I, this morning I was actually talking to my mother in preparation because I had a, a long list of <laughs> different things I wanted to try, but I also wanted to feel like one experience. And so um, maybe, maybe again, sometime I can do a different, a different version of, of the same idea, but I, a lot of different ways we can physically be together. Very good. Thank you. We are almost at the end of the hour. Shall we just do a check out? Sure, sure. And I, I always love when we do the, um, especially with Valentine's Day, uh, when we acknowledge uh, something about someone else in the room too. So um, check out with how you're feeling and um, what you, what a beautiful thing you want to acknowledge in yourself and maybe one other person in the space. I love it, like it when we do that. Anyone can start. I would love to acknowledge the liveness in me in this moment and the liveness in all of you, not only one particular person, because I can feel you all at this moment when I look at you. Thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you. I want to acknowledge that <laughs> it really feels more more than ever like we're a little family because it was to me it was profound that we communicated with each other i think for the first time physically as well as verbally and that's that's um it, it feels very intimate and very warm and very um what's the geborgen isn't that the word that you use that that's how i feel I acknowledge the vibrancy in myself and in all of you because it came off the screen and I just bounced it back. So it was just, yeah, it was great. Thank you, Patrice. It's really a great idea to do it and maybe do it again. Thank you very much, Beatrice. I also felt very um, different, like you all expressed. Um, uh, I never saw me in that way on the screen, but I only see four pictures. I do not see all of you, and that is a pity, but it, it will uh, ch change. I will get a new... Um, screen so that I can see you all and I'm very very pleased if this is happening and um, it was very nice to stand away from the screen and feel the screen the, the, um, the space of this uh, the screen I, I uh, had a very gebogenes like Victoria said, feeling. Thank you very much that this is possible. I am noticing and appreciating my physical being too. It's um, it, even though Christine, you said I, I do this express with my body a lot in this in this time when we've been so attached to screens, I haven't been doing it very much. So I, it's nice to know, feel like I'm in my space and in my body right now. Um, and I have 
so much appreciation for all of you for going on this this ride with me and for holding the space and for being playful and fun and I had watched each one of you at a different moment um and I love the <laughs> the little playful dialogue that we we had together so I thank all of you for that Did everyone go? And I think not everyone went yet. No, I, I, I'm a little bit shy to just <laughs> do things in the open. So if if it's in a you know a safe space, but I felt safe though. I know whoever wants to see it will see it. Um, but that that was really really good. And, and I kind of, sometimes I was with myself and then connected again. So it's, it, it was, um, yeah, playful to see how, how to do that. And um, I really appreciate, <laughs> Monia, when you touch your flowers, your, your tulips, it's so like, oh my God, they are so beautiful. I don't know if they even have a smell or so. And um what I found interesting that this cup that my daughter gave me, um, that this was good for almost everything <laughs> that you asked for. <laughs> it was the warmth, it was the shape, the color, um, the taste. There's lemon and, and ginger in it. Um, and, and I could smell it i could taste it <laughs> i could touch it so it was really like uh, oh <laughs> that's why i like it so much yeah and um and thank you so much beatrice i i thought it was so and and it was so easy to follow it was not you know sometimes i'm i'm just what should i do <laughs> but it was just yeah it, it was very fluent and and easy yet not i mean still very very what do you say worthwhile doing it and and valuable yeah that's the word i use <laughs> I've, i i was looking for yeah and hanali i love your your movements they are really dancer like they are they have something very special everyone but i i i, I just my my eyes went to you pretty often i don't know if i'm the last one and i wanted to say one you said you don't know where it began I know it began with Heidi <laughs> and I pass, pass on. Yes, you. yes. <laughs> yeah, and I, 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 I haven't said anything yet. Um, okay. I was just reflecting that it's uh, a nice way to start my week, um, not just today, but in general, it's the first thing I do on a Monday morning and it feels like, um, showing up and, and being present with you all is just a good way to begin. Um, so I, I, I think I notice it each time we get together uh, that it's a great start. Yeah, thank you. And I notice how we are co-creating the energy in the room. Yes, the leader is doing the setting and you are holding the space whoever it is doing but we are sort of getting in you know so i really find it extremely powerful and extremely beautiful and i think i hope that it will be the the future of humanity that we can be together in this way and even you know if there are some problems but that we can do it resolve them in a way like this even in a non-verbal way and that i'm very grateful beatrice because also me i'm not so really you know moving in front of somebody who later will even watch but you you succeeded to to have it as as if 
it's private and we are safe and we can move and not be ashamed of our bodies of our awkward things we are doing you know that's that's really precious and it's freeing it's liberating also so and i love to see all your faces and your movements and when we connected together that was such a you know, when we look at each other, also we don't even know if the other one I look to is the one <laughs> who is receiving my look, but it's not a problem. We are really like, no, it's not not even a family. Like, a, hmm, I don't know what the right word is, but something, I don't get the word, like many, many little fractals together maybe yeah so we 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 together create a, a cauliflower no every cauliflower piece is a piece and we together make the the whole piece something like this and i'm really grateful for that and we see again in two weeks so thank you very much mm -hmm.